Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all well. So today we're going to be playing with some alcohol ink and this is a canvas I want to do a bigger piece on later but because I've never tried this before and I'm gonna show you the inks I've got. I've got a yellow, a green, a red and a blue and I've also got some gold metallic powder got some 99.9% .9 alcohol and I put it in a little uh, bottle with a narrow tip so I can squeeze it. I got some little cups to mix my alcohol and inks in and what else? Well, this is going to be the canvas we're going to be using later. I put a coat of varnish on yesterday, so that's nice and dry, just to make sure that the inks don't just go into the canvas and just hopefully move. But for now, I'm going to be using this synthetic paper and it is like plastic. So I don't think heat is going to be okay on this, but you know, let's just try it. So I'm just going to take one little piece. This is very expensive. Um, I got this on a sale and it was like, there's 10 sheets and it was almost 10 euros. So that was very expensive and it's tiny. It's maybe a little bit smaller than A5, but this is plastic. And I think I want to try two things or maybe three. I've got my hairdryer that has a couple of different speeds on it. So I can try this one. It has a cold uh, fast and a low. I also have my embossing tool. So this is just on off and gets really, really hot. So I think it might work on the canvas, but not on the paper because this probably is going to warp. And then I've got one more option and that's to use my little airbrush. So I've got that charging. I'm not sure if this airbrush is going to be the best because it has a continuous spray of air. But let's start by practicing on here. Okay, so let's mix up some ink and I'm going to just use some of the alcohol and put it in here. Hopefully that's enough. And then add some of the color in here, like five drops. I'm going to mix this up like so. So that's going to be our base. And then I'm going to mix up a tiny bit of the metallic. So I'm just going to take... Oh, oh boy, spilled it all over. That's not good. It would be better to have a container with the metallic, but for now, this will have to do. Probably needs a little bit more powder. I'll just mix that in later. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to add this to my paper. I'm just going to start in the middle. It's actually quite a lot. It's already spreading too much. I don't want it to be spreading that far, but okay, we'll have to do with it. Let's add just some tiny bit of the gold. Should be, should be enough, I think. Let's try our embossing tool first. So yeah, as you can see, the paper is already warping, so that's not going to work. Uh, let's try the airbrush. So it's starting to get a little bit dry. So let's add a little bit more alcohol. So the airbrush, I think, gives a little bit too much of those rimples. So let's add some more alcohol and try the hairdryer, but on low. So from what I saw, I think the embossing tool is going to be the easiest to work with. And I think the metallic needs to be mixed up a little bit more like so, and then added to it, but a little bit more than I added here. It did give me those really cool lines. I don't know if you can see them, but like here and here and on the side. I really like it, but I think this paper, because it's plastic, I don't think the embossing tool is going to be the best thing because you can see it's just absolutely warped it. But I do like the effect I'm getting. So what do you think? Should we just go and try and do it on the canvas so we can use the heat? I think we should. Okay, so let's make some more red. I really want to try a rose. But I'm going to use a little bit less because I don't want it that big. So I think I put about two and a half milliliters in it. I'm still gonna put five drops of the color in it. So let's mix. 
and mix the metallics a little bit more let's just go for the middle okay so let's see what this does Okay, let's quickly add some of the gold hopefully that's enough and i'm just going to go from the outside so where i push it's going to dry and it's going to make those lines hopefully Okay, it needs a lot more alcohol. And unfortunately, like the gold is just already stuck on here. So I'm going to try and get it to mix. Let's see if that's going to work. So I'm trying to keep it from going this way because I want it to be more central. I'm just going to add a little bit more alcohol. So what I'm noticing is that here I got really nice lines and here not that much so could be that there's not enough pigment in here and also got a puddle in here so as you can see here in the middle there's a lot more pigment so maybe i should just add more alcohol ink drops and less alcohol let's try some blue so i did eight drops of the blue and still pretty transparent so i think i need to do even more so i added another four drops hopefully this is going to be enough let's shake our little gold and I think I'm going to put something underneath this side because I've got a feeling that it's going to want to go and settle on this side. So let's try some of the blue. Let's add some of the gold. Okay, so let's try and get this gold to come off of the bottom. I think you really, really, really need to mix your gold. I just added some alcohol and took some of the blue off um, because I didn't like the amount of gold that was on it. So what I want to try is make some more red, put it on top of the blue and try this one more time. Let's try and mix that metallic like into it. Hopefully to get it to not stick to my base. So it might not be the rose I wanted, but at least I'm getting a little bit more of what I was looking for. I do still think the metallic is causing me the main issue and I don't know why if it's because it's too heavy and or I'm using just way too much so let's try and add let's see I want to try some yellow see how that works so this time I'm just going to go straight on with the yellow and I'm just going to add a little bit of the alcohol around it and let's try a straw So I actually think the straw is giving me more control, but like this wasn't really what I wanted. So I think I'm going to try and wipe it and try again. So let's try this again. I don't think that's enough alcohol on there. And I still think there's just not enough pigment. I think that's my main issue. I'm not even sure if I'm going to use this video because it's so frustrating. Like, this looked so good. Why doesn't it want to work on this different medium? Is it just because there's not enough color in these? Let's just try just the ink. So, 
I think it's just that there's not enough pigment in these um, alcohol inks. So these are just the really, really cheap ones. I got them as a gift and I just think there's not enough color. They work absolutely fine for resin, but for this, I don't think it's gonna work. So let me just put a bunch of color on here and then maybe just try some alcohol with the gold on top. Maybe that will work. So let's see if we can make this work. Uh, I've got some of the metallic with some alcohol in here. I've got my little heat tool. It is quite hot. So maybe I'm even going to use a straw. But let's just try and add some alcohol here. Not too much. Something like that. Shake this gold and add a drop maybe one more drop okay so i like what's going on it's very subtle and i don't think i want to do it everywhere but i do like the shimmer Let's try an area here, add some alcohol, add some metallic. Okay, so that's pretty. I think this is actually working a lot better. So with the colored base and then just adding the gold on top. So let's do some here. So I think we figured out a way that it works. So let me show you. Can you see the shimmer? So I'm probably going to do a little bit more and then I'll show you the final result. And here it is. I'm so glad it actually worked out. I almost gave up. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, please come and subscribe. I would love to see you here again. But for now, thank you for watching. Bye everyone.